hello there welcome to AutoCAD beginners guide series today's tutorial we're going to be looking at basic settings for AutoCAD per 2 so if you've not watched our previous video please go to our previous video for basic guide basic settings part 1 so in today's tutorial let's go quickly so there are some times you make some drawings then you'll be seeing some checkbox on the particular drawing so i'm going to show you how where to get those work just quickly go down to this your bottom after your command line you see oh snap auto just right click on either of them then click on settings when you click on settings this dialog box pops up so at this point you're going to go to uh, these are O snap which is you can just press F9 gives you the O snap so on so go to polar tracking this is 90 degrees we can decide to set maybe as to 45 degrees at every 45 degrees you will see a particular line pointing a particular direction so let's go to this our tab which is object snap so these are uh, object snap it is very very important to us you can get it from uh, F3 can turn it on if you just press f3 on autocad can turn it on this object snap tracking f11 can just turn it on which is a short very short key for you to just use and turn it on instead of right clicking on this bottom to bring this setting out so you just do it now if you notice some buttons here this box here is checked this is checked this is end point this is midpoint this is also center point and these are node quadrants and all of that all some of them are checked so now this button here tells you that if you draw in a line this old snap the the line even though your cursor is not getting to read it will just uh just grab to that particular line per se so let me just show you quickly i'm going to hit cancel so i'm going to pick on my line too i'm going to draw a straight line so i'm going to run another line then i'm going to click enter on my keyboard to finish this my command or right click and press n now i go back again to take my line now if you can see you can see a box there uh, an orange box so if i click even without getting close to read you can see if i click let me pick my line tool again so if i click on it it just gives me the particular place and i cruise that so that is the work of that old snap so that is where to turn it on and also uh, other one so I'm gonna say going back to right click go to settings so when you go to o snap you can just check the box anyone you want but it is not really good for you to just check any uh, all the old box so the ones you're using part time those are the ones you can just check to make sure those ones are functional because if you check on it's going to be confusing to you so you just have to make sure the one you check in is the one you needed to use at that particular instance so we have dynamic input you can just go this place to this point and pointer so I can say okay uh, let me just do some pretty cool settings here after you're done you just say okay you can just give yourself a, a trial explore some of the settings so I can go over to this also and say um, just do some few settings and say okay then I can go draft into appearance so this this is very interesting so uh, let me just move this a little bit away so that I can see what is going on so this is color I can change my color this drafting tool I can change my color this is 99 99 220 I can change my color to any of these I want so if that is not satisfactory I can come to select colors so this is a color index I can choose any color here that I want we have up to 255 so you can choose from now just look at this point if I move on the colors we have green we have red green blue so that means the red is the first which is zero on this particular side so if I have this so I have zero red zero green and two two five five blue so it will give me this color so when I click on it it's going to highlight there so when I click on it it's going to highlight so you can just choose any that you want but i'm fine with this so i'm going to leave it as default so i'm going to say okay that's that's fine that's pretty cool and i'm going to say cancel to just get make that go away so this is my size in my model space and in my layout space this is how they are going to look like so i can just pull this out and uh, 
the size begin to get bigger but I'm going to leave it as that this is transparency I can begin to pull it maybe from zero you can see it's fading away I can pull it fading away so but I, I like it to be uh, not to be transparent so that I can see on my model space because this is black this white so my layout is going to be white and my black is going to be that of my model space but I'm done with my old settings so I'm going to hit OK I'm fine with that it's pretty cool with me so I'm going to click OK so you can just make me do some other uh, settings that you want like this I can change this place any angle that you want like a perfect angle I can make 30 I can make 15 10 5 degrees I can make 90 now we have set our drawing in our previous um, video to 90 degrees which is auto which is 90 that's why we are having 90 degrees here to be our angle so 90 degrees vertical horizontal so 90 degrees so it's going to give us 90 degrees so if you set it to 45 degrees then you are going to be having 45 degrees angle and you're going to be able to draw the 45 degrees line and all of that so this is pretty cool and you can just do some few settings uh, that you really want to just um, uh, dive into and use but the basic and the most important ones for you to be able to draw fast is this this is your object snap because it snaps your 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 preceding other object that you want to create to a particular point a particular point that you don't make mistakes and clicking other places so as you can draw a parallel line a parallel and all of that tangent line to a particular circle you can draw that so i'm going to be showing you pretty uh, soon concerning how to use all these object snaps so that's it guys for the settings so please do give us a thumbs up if you love our video and also subscribe to our channel and also drop a few comments for us to be able to attend to see you in our next video